Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to change download location in Windows. This is how you change the download folder if you wanted your folder to be in a larger hard drive. I had a small hard drive on my mom's computer and I noticed she had a second hard drive that was much larger. So I moved her download folder to that one so every time you downloaded it went to the larger hard drive and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. I did write an article on this and the link is down below if you want to go check out the article um, but I'm going to show you in the video how to do that on a Windows 10 laptop and this works the same way pretty much the same way on a Windows 11. So I've been tested on both but I'm going to show you how to do it on my Windows 10. Before we get going hit the like on the video it really helps out our channel. Also hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos we come out with every Thursday. All right, let's get this started because I know you all want to know how to do this. So like I said, I did this because my mom had a smaller hard drive with the download folder on it and she had larger hard drives. So I wanted it to go to there. So I'm going to do that on my computer here. So what you want to do is go to the bottom of your screen and get your little um, bottom bar. Now my brain went blank. It's, you know, what bar I'm talking about. You want to look for file explorer, click on your file explorer. I'm gonna... And when the file explorer pops up, I'm going to bring it back into the screen for you guys you want to go to the downloads on the left menu downloads you want to right click on that and then you're going to go down to properties is what we're looking for we're going to click on properties and then when properties opens up for us we want to go over to the tab that says location pretty straightforward so usually i'll show up in the general tab because that's where i normally am but you want to be on locations which is the top right i'm going to click on that and here's the here's the um, place you go. It's you can change where files in this folder are stored to another place on this hard drive, another drive or another computer on your network. So you can do that um, if you want. But I'm going to show you how to change it to another hard drive. So we we're going to go to the middle option right here. This is the hard drive. This is where it's going right now. We're going to go to move. You click on move. And then you're going to pop up here. You can look at the middle. I'm already on my um PC, but I want to go to the side where you normally would find it. So I'm going to scroll down to find the, the drive I want to use. Mine is drive H. So I'm going to click on that, open it up. And then this brings down this menu and I make sure you make a downloads folder, create a folder for your downloads. I always, when you want to put it on that drive, you want to create a downloads folder. It makes it a lot easier to um, find it. <laughs> I, I tr trust me, you want to know where your downloads are going. So change, just make a folder named downloads. So once you do that, you're going to click on the folder that's called downloads on the drive you're putting it to, and you want to select, click select. And it now is saying, this is going to be where your downloads go. And you can say, apply. That's what we want to do. We're going to apply. And now it's saying, okay, do you want to move all of the files? So this is nice. It asks you if you want to move the files that are actually in the old location to the new location. I do not want to do that. Uh, we recommend moving all the files so that the program's needing to access it. And that makes sense. I'm going to switch it back, so I don't want to worry about that. So I'm going to say no, but you can say yes. I would, I would suggest saying yes if you're going to make this permanent. I'm just doing it for this video. So I'm going to say no. And then it changed. So now you hit OK. And now anytime I do a download, it's going to go to my H drive instead of my... It's going to go to the H drive to this download folder, which is right here. See, the arrow is now on it, as you can see. And if you want to switch this back, and you can, so you can go to here, right click on the downloads in your drive, go to properties, and then you can go to location like we did before, and you can restore default. So we click on restore default, and it takes you right back to where it was, which I'm going to move mine back there. You can go down to apply. And now you say, and it's going to give you the same warning. I'm going to say no because I didn't move anything over. So we're going to say no. I'm going to click no. And then we're going to say OK. Now everything will go back to what it was. So this is where now your downloads are. Now, um, if we go back to that H drive, and there we go where I put it. It's still going to have that arrow on it because it was, you designated it as the download section. But nothing's going to go to it now because I changed where it goes. So everything now will go to here. And that's how easy it is to do this. It's, well, it's not as hard as it sounds, but that's how you do it. You can change it so you download. Because I get a lot of downloaded folders and files, and sometimes I don't clean them out. And it takes a lot of space. I figured some of it I don't want to clean out, so I made a new folder. And that's how you do it, guys. Thanks for watching, and thanks for um, supporting us here on YouTube. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com, uh, where all, all our articles are. And make sure to subscribe to this channel. 
and thanks for watching.